Mr. Norcross. Mr. Ferguson, you're recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairman and Mr. Secretary. Thank you so much for being here today. A um, couple of questions. First of all, as I understand it, on July the 6th of this year, the, the Department of Labor uh, published a request for information examining the fiduciary rule. Is that correct? Um, I, I don't recall if that's the exact date, but that's generally correct. Okay, good. The, the, now that the comment period is closed, I'm assuming the department is reviewing and considering the next steps? Uh, Congressman, that, that is correct. We are. Okay. Have there been discussions with the, with the SEC on the next steps with the fiduciary regu regulation? Uh, Congressman, I, um, in a Wall Street Journal uh, editorial, uh, opinion editorial that I published, I, I very publicly, as a matter of fact, suggested um, that the SEC should be a partner in this effort. The SEC uh, declined to be a full partner in the past administration, and, and I do believe that, um, that they have an important role to play. Uh, they are part of the regulatory structure of this industry um, and should be a partner, and therefore, yes, we have had discussions. That's, and and, and that's, that is good to hear because we've heard a lot from our constituents that believe that the DOL and the SEC should be collaborating on this to, to address the issues and solve the problems associated with it. So thank you for your commitment to con continue going down that road. Um, also, I want to just make a comment about the, um, about the approval of the uh, Georgia um, WSEP application. I know some of your, your staff came down to the district to look at one of our programs. I want to thank you so much for, for that support and, and, under, and, and, and learning what's going on in our district. Um, you know, the, being able to do this and, and work, work with states and particularly uh, the Georgia Consortium for Advanced Technical Training, um, we, we see this as a great opportunity to begin to prepare our young people to go to work in a 21st century economy, and it's a step in aligning our education system with, you know, with the direction that the economy is going. So I know that uh, you and the administration are very much focused on closing the skills gaps. It's something that we believe is vitally important to do. Um, and we believe that uh, innovative apprenticeships are a, value, value, a very valuable part of this. So again, I want to thank you for the work that y'all are doing on that. I think that that is something that, that every person on this committee can agree with, that, that preparing our young people to take advantage of the jobs that are being created are, is vitally important. So thank you. Madam Chairman, I yield.